octopuses. Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn all about octopuses. If you want to read along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is an octopus? Octopuses are super cool sea creatures that belong to a group called cephalopods. They have soft bodies with no bones, making them really flexible. Because they don't have a stiff skeleton, they can squeeze through tight spaces, becoming all bendy and stretchy like underwater acrobats. They have a bunch of nerve cells in clusters called ganglia that help them figure out all sorts of things. And imagine having not one, but eight arms. Each arm has suction cups that can sense chemicals, touch, and irritation. Octopuses live in the ocean and prefer to dwell in areas with rocks and hiding spots. You can find them in both shallow and deep waters around the world. Some species like to make their homes in dens or caves, while others live in open areas. Octopuses are solitary animals, which means they usually prefer to live alone. However, they sometimes form aggregations when there's plenty of food or during the mating season. When it comes to caring for their young, Octopuses have a unique way of parenting. After laying their eggs, the mother octopus guards them, gently blows water over them, and ensures they receive enough oxygen. The mother stays with her eggs and doesn't eat during this time, showing incredible dedication to her offspring. Once the eggs hatch, the babies are left to fend for themselves, starting their journey on their own in the vast ocean. What do octopuses eat? The diet of an octopus varies because octopuses have a diverse appetite. They enjoy crustaceans like crabs and lobsters and also have a taste for small fish, swiftly nabbing them with their agile arms and suction cups. Some even feast on mollusks, such as clams and snails. Most octopuses hunt for their prey at night, and all of them have venom that they inject into their prey using a beak, similar to a bird's beak. An octopus uses its incredible arms of suction cups to grab and secure its prey. The suction cups have tiny sensors that work together like a team of detectives. Chemoreceptors in the suction cups can detect chemicals in the water, helping the octopus locate potential prey. When an octopus senses something tasty nearby, its arms move incredibly flexibly. The mechanoreceptors are touch sensors that help the octopus feel and understand the texture and shape of the object it's reaching for. Imagine that an octopus spots a crab or a shrimp, its favorite snack. The suction cups spring into action, creating a powerful grip on the prey. The chemo-irritant receptors come into play, ensuring the octopus doesn't accidentally grab something harmful. With this sophisticated combination of sensors and suction power, the octopus can swiftly and accurately capture its prey, becoming a true master of underwater hunting. Other interesting facts. Octopuses have chromatophores in their skin. Chromatophores are specialized cells containing pigments that allow them to change color and create intricate patterns. These cells help them hide by matching the colors and patterns of their surroundings, like rocks or seaweed. That way, if an octopus is near a sandy area, it can turn brown to blend in, and if it's by a coral reef, it can turn the vibrant colors of the corals. Octopuses use this remarkable skill not just for camouflage, but also to communicate with other octopuses and express their emotions. These cephalopods have the largest brains among all invertebrates and are really smart. This is because their brains are not just in their heads, but in their arms too. Each arm has a bunch of neurons, or tiny brain cells, that work together to help an octopus move its arms in a coordinated way. The unique way their brains are spread out in their arms helps octopuses solve problems and adapt to different situations. It's like having a team of helpers in each arm, making them really good at figuring things out and dealing with the changes around them. When octopuses need to protect themselves, they use an incredible strategy called autotomy. If an octopus is in danger, it will purposely let go of one of its arms. 
It can then escape its predators because its detached arm keeps moving as a distraction while the octopus makes a safe getaway. Even more amazing is that octopuses can grow a new arm later. Why are they important to the environment? These wonderful and unique creatures play a vital role in their environment because they help control the population of other sea creatures. They also serve as a food source for larger predators, contributing to the intricate web of life in the ocean. Most octopus species are not considered endangered. However, pollution and overfishing can impact their homes in the sea. Humans also enjoy eating octopuses, so ensuring we catch them sustainably and care for their habitats is necessary. By understanding and respecting these incredible marine animals and their environment, we can help ensure that they continue to thrive and contribute to the health of our oceans. Whoa, we have learned a lot of outrageous octopus info. Let's review. What are three reasons why octopuses change colors? If you said to camouflage, to communicate, and to express emotion, you're correct. True or false? Octopuses have the largest brains among all invertebrates and are super smart. That's right, the answer is true. Choose the word the author would say best describes the octopus. A. Inflexible B. Vertebrate C. Terrestrial D. Endangered E. Solitary The answer is E. Solitary Great job, octopus authorities. Remember, you can find this lesson and other cool lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.